And welcome back. It's 643. Are you a Coca-Cola person or do you just go for the Diet Coke? I nodded to both. The lesser calorie beverage is the better choice, right? Well, the science is in and the results may surprise you. Sarah Costa explains which is better for your body and your brain. Nothing beats the crisp taste of a soda. But what if the bubbly drink had zero calories and zero sugar? Do you know which is better for you? Uh, I'm diet, but he's regular. Yeah, uh, regular soda. <laughs> you go from 200 calories to no calories. However, there's been some information that shows that actually making that switch doesn't help as much as you think it should. A study by the American Geriatric Society found that diet soda intake was related to increasing abdominal obesity. Also, artificial sweeteners, which are also found in diet soda, were linked to an increase of high calorie food. Something about your brain chemistry recognizes that there's something sweet because of the artificial sweeteners in the soda, and that might actually dial up your craving for more sweets. Researchers from Columbia University and University of Miami found those who consumed diet soda had a 43% higher chance of developing cardiovascular disease than those who drank regular soda, and those who drank as little as one diet beverage a day were three times more likely to develop dementia and had an increased risk for stroke over a 10-year period. Just something to think about before you pop open your next drink. And we all know sodas lead to obesity, which is a pretty common health condition here in San Antonio. According to the CDC, a little over 65% of adults in Bear County are overweight or obese. San Antonio is also ranked at number 17 on the list of fattest cities in America. I'm Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News. Back to you guys.